Hello and welcome to another London Infrastructure as Code video, this time on OpenSCAP and server hardening. So let's get straight in with the demo. So you may have heard of OpenSCAP. It's a tool that allows us to check if our servers have been hardened and tell us how to do it. And we're going to do this on a Red Hat Rail 7.7, .7, which is pretty popular out there in the enterprise world. For more information, go to openscap.org. And this demo on my GitHub page will pretty much set up everything you need to do and give you a demo of how to increase your score and do better on the test. So let's go. So first of all, we start by cloning my repo. Nice and simple. You've probably done this before. And we go into the directories. Next we have to create our SSH key because all of the code is self-contained. It's a very simple Terraform module. And you create your own key, that key gets picked up in the code. Quick check of the VARS file. You can see that we've got an AMI already attached that we've picked up. We're in the EU West 2 region, which is London, and it's picking up our SSH key there. So next up, we have to just double check that we've set up our AWS configure. And this is where we add our access and secret key. So if you need to get one of those first, once you've got that, we can carry on. So Terraform init to begin with, it sets up, sees which provider we're using and it downloads the correct code from Terraform. Now we run a Terraform plan. This is like a sense check of our code, make sure it's going to work, tells us what it's going to do. So we've got an AWS key pair and an instance that's going to be created, T2 micro. Now we do apply. And this will kick off the build. So we're going to fast forward this next step. You see it whizzing through. It does a lot of installing. Sets up quite a bit of stuff. Let that run through. Right, now you can see it's actually starting to do the test now. So this is the pre-test. That's part of the script that runs on... Like, the bootstrap script it does a pre-test and then a post-test and in between it does some audit rule updates which will give us a slightly different outcome a different score and you can see that that's working we grab the ip address we go to the ip address and enter the reports directory and we can open up our pre and post reports this is our evaluation reports and we can see the first one has 136 failed tests the second one has 107 failed tests so let's pick this one here so Empty, permit empty passwords. So if we quickly update this now, so in my example in the code, we can go and do this now live and we'll see what difference it makes to an OpenScap evaluation report once we rerun it. So let's log into our box. Become the root user, which makes things easier for this example. We vi the SSHD underscore config file and in there we update this line which says permit empty passwords we unhash it, which means, and then rerun SSHD, which means it's now going to apply that setting. And then when we rerun our test, there it goes. So this time, once it's completed, we'll rerun um, our report. We'll copy the report to the HTML directory, go back to our web page, we'll see the report as it uh, exists, and then we'll open it up and we'll see the difference it makes. Let's go back there. There it is, open that up. You can see now we only got 106 failed tests where before we had 107, but it makes a big difference to the score. So we look now we have 66.18, where previously we had 64.79. So that one update has made a one and a half percent difference. So you can imagine as you scroll down and go through the list of all the reds where it's failed, every time you open one up, it will show you what you need to do to fix it. If you were to go through and fix a lot of the ones that you can fix, you'll probably find you're getting a score in the high 80s, early 90s. And that's pretty much it. Now that we've finished our demo, we're just going to destroy it. So Terraform destroy, take a yes, and that will blow it all away. And this is just a really good example, just seeing how OpenSCAP can evaluate how hard your servers are in terms of their uh, configuration. Um, how easy it is to make updates and make changes to make it a better score and to be more compliant. Um, and that's it. Good luck. Don't forget to follow, like and share. Have a good day.